Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Greg, and in this channel, I create product reviews, mods, and install guides of cool car accessories and gadgets. In this video, we are going to install the world's first 720 degree mirror dash cam by Akio. You have your optional 3-pack anti-glare screen protector. We have your optional hardwire kit which is required to use your parking monitoring feature. With this hardwire kit, after you shut off your engine, parking mode will begin after 8 seconds. During parking mode, if an impact is detected, it will start recording for 20 seconds. This hardwire kit can prevent battery drainage. If the voltage drops below 11.6 volts, then the power supplied from the battery will cut off. We have two pairs of elastic bands in different sizes to mount your mirror dash cam to your OEM mirror. Also comes with a microfiber cloth. GPS module to record accurate driving speed and position information. 12 to 24 volt cigarette plug adapter. Comes with a long cable for your rear camera, which is approximately 8 meters long. You connect this red wire to your reverse light. This is your rear camera. It records at 1080p. It is IP67 waterproof. It can be mounted inside or outside. It comes with 3M adhesive tape. A mounting bracket for your rear camera in case you want to mount it inside so that you can adjust the positioning and you use the 3M adhesive tape to stick it onto your trim. A standard trim tool to help hide those wires with about 11.26 mirror real estate for better viewing. This is your power button. The LCD can be turned off so you can use it as a standard mirror. The dash cam will still be recording. The top view, here is your memory card. It comes with a 32 gig micro SD card. It can accommodate up to 256 gigabytes. Underneath here is your microphone. It has a nice single wire design for a cleaner look. Single wire to three inputs. This is for your GPS module, one for your rear camera, and the other for your power supply. This dash cam is compatible with 12 to 24 volt vehicles, cars, or heavy duty trucks. Here we have your two cameras, which records 360 degrees this way and 360 degrees this way. These cameras record at 1920p simultaneously with the rear camera. Camera can be adjusted up or down by about 1 cm. This dash cam is equipped with Sony Starvis for high resolution recording. Power is delivered with a super capacitor, which is a better alternative to lithium ion batteries. Super capacitors are better for resistance to hot and cold weather. If you're interested in this product, I'm gonna leave a product link in the description below. Now to install the dash cam mirror, we're gonna go ahead and take the elastic band and go ahead and um, strap it on the top. And get the second one and do the same on the other side. All right now once we have that we're gonna lay this over the OEM mirror and then strap it behind just lock it into place. That's where I decided to run the GPS Wires are on the A-pillar and we're going to go ahead and hide everything else under the headliner. And you're going to grab the end and go ahead and uh, plug it in. 
Everything's gonna get tucked in under the headliner once we're all done. For the rear camera, I decided to mount it inside. I used the bracket and I screwed it into the trim. You don't have to screw it, you can use a adhesive, but uh, I think this would be my permanent spot. Then we're gonna run the wire underneath this weather strip. Now for the rear camera cable, I've already measured out how far, how much wire I need to go all the way to the front, running through the headliner. And all the excess, I went ahead and um, bundled it together, and this is where I'm gonna hide it. I'm gonna go ahead and hide all the excess wire in here. This red wire is going to tap into your reverse light. So I fed the wire through into this panel here, and I pushed it right here behind the harness. This green wire is my reverse light. The wire coloring may vary on your vehicle. Now I have two cables coming out from this pillar here. One runs through here to the back for the rear cam. And the other one comes through here down to my fuse box. That's the power supply. Check out my other video on how I installed Akeo's hardwire kit. Now I'm going to take the wires from the camera and the wires that are coming from the A-pillar and connect them together. Each cable is different. One is a 5-pin and the other is a 4-pin. You want to connect those together and make sure they match up. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean up the wires. I got all the wires hidden. And it has that one wire cleaner look. Make sure you hide all your wires up here and not behind this A pillar. Uh, we don't want it to affect your airbag system. Now that setup's complete, let's go through the settings. First, I want to go ahead and take these off. Now let's start the car. So this here is your camera, you take pictures. This is when you want to lock a recording. Now let's look at the viewing options. Here we have your front, your in cabin and your rear camera. Now you have it much closer, same front, in cabin and rear. Now you just have your front and your rear. Now you have your in cabin and your rear. And just your rear. This is to record audio or not. That's off. And I turned it back on. This is your manual record. That's recording and not recording up here is your date next to that is your time and this is your minutes recording the red dot flashing means it's recording this is your miles per hour satellite you have time you have looks like the date again and you have your compass now let's go to settings You can adjust the level of brightness, one, two, or three. Screen hibernation, close 10 seconds, 30 seconds, or one minute. Parking mode, close or open, 
close meaning off open meaning on I'm gonna go ahead and uh, leave it at open light source frequency you can do 50 Hertz or 60 Hertz language let's go ahead and set it to English this is if you want to format your SD card you can adjust your date mine was uh, using GPS gravity sensing I'm gonna set mine to middle that's the G sensor your GPS signal right now we're connected to two four six eight nine satellites and it's fluctuating your speed unit I'm gonna change mine to miles per hour horizontal mirror I'm gonna keep that open that flips the image from the rear camera this way or this way your head-up display mode I have it set to clock speed and directions you can choose clocks only speed only or both or you can just have it off voice prompt I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn that off recording switch I have it on or open volume I have it set to middle you can set it to low middle high or off auto record I'm gonna leave that on and your rear assist those are the lines when you activate your rear camera or when you hit reverse that's your device information and if you want to reset everything to factory settings and when I set it to reverse the lines come on that's your uh, parking assist when you stop recording then you can access your uh, playback you got your normal video that's all that right here you can go ahead and hit playback you have your event video it'll have a, a triangle there with a, a red triangle with a white exclamation point you have your park video that's your parking monitoring and you have the photos that you took now let's test the parking monitoring I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shut off the car once it turns off it should take about eight seconds before parking monitoring activates eight seconds has passed let's go ahead and test it all right now let's start the vehicle Now let's go ahead and check the events folder. We have to stop recording and then hit playback and we go to the park video. Oh, and there it is.
Now let's go for a test drive. If you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll bring you more videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.